I needed a lot of work with my learning. I didn't know a lot. I didn't know how to read or write. I have um, some anger issues that I still need to deal with, um, some, some boundary issues. I was doing a lot of negative. I've been to jail, don't want to go there again, and it's time to make things right. The student population that we have is a wide variety of students with special needs. The special needs encompass the whole gamut of autism, learning disabilities, anxiety disorders, speech and language impairments. We look at our relationships with the districts as a partnership. We really try and collaborate um, as much as needed to meet the students' needs with our districts, and as well as with the families. We really run on a system of high accountability and high reinforcement. We truly believe that all students are going to succeed to their utmost potential, and that's our goal for each and every one of them. When you have somebody there to keep cheering you on, to keep doing better, and keep striving on, your confidence builds a lot. Our students need a lot of structure, and they respond to that structure. I genuinely have an interest in what they want to do, and I really want to guide them there. That's what creates the bond. They're amazing kids, and you want what's best for them. In special ed, there's always and should be individualization. You just can't group kids together and that's what I think is just so unique about High Roads and New Hope Academy. Our philosophy is we never turn our back on a kid. We never say no to a kid. I'm working with students that are sometimes non-readers who are in high school or reading at a very low grade level, maybe first, second, or third grade. The progress is tremendous with this, this body of students because it's social and academic. It's not just one or the other and there you can see it immediately and you can see it over a long period of time. So not only do we want our kids to be successful in schools, we want them to be successful beyond school. And so we spend a lot of time teaching our kids not only to be students, but also to be successful citizens in the world. Being able to leave school and be functional on society. So we give them trade opportunities, we give them college opportunities. What we do every day has a, a much greater impact on this city and on these kids and on their families um, than we'll ever know. And I think that's my favorite part of the job. Coming to the school, she had people that cared about her. Her teachers actually cared about her. She's not hiding anymore. She's not angry anymore. This is what the school has done for her. My family is very proud of me. They tell me all the time. Kind of gets annoying, but they do. We see when a student comes here, they realize that they're not the only ones that are having difficulties. They're not the only ones that are struggling. And it gives them a safe place to be, to start. And then we start building on that and the self-esteem. Um, and they really start to, to thrive. At my old school, I used to have bullies. But here, I feel safe. For me, to see him being happy and being treated like everybody else and not feeling like he has to be the class clown or not to get upset and defensive because he's afraid everybody's going to call him stupid. It's just like it's such a burden taken off. Last year I made honor roll three times and for the first time in my life and I also made student of the month and I got a perfect attendance award all in one year. If I wouldn't have came to High Road, who knows what I would have been. I wouldn't have been attending college. I was always the one sitting in the back of the class because I was always shy because I don't know how to read or write. But now I'm the one in the front because I know how to read and write now, you know? I didn't think I would be able to do that. And I just showed myself that it is possible.